right, Algebra 2A, and welcome to part two of lesson 2.5, okay? Um, so the last part, we created lines through given points, okay? Um, we used point-slope form, and we used slope and y-intercept. So just a reminder um, that if you are given a point and a slope, you need to use point-slope form. So that is largely um, what we're going to be reviewing today. Um, that is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, okay? Now, the big thing for these types of problems is you have to decide on the slope, okay? Um, key thing here is if we want to make a line that's parallel, well, what does parallel mean? Parallel means that they never intersect one another, okay? So parallel lines like railroad tracks and everything, they have the same, exactly the same slope, okay? It's, it's the same, exactly the same. So the first step, if we want to make a line that's parallel to another line is we need to look at the slope of the line they give you. So here is the line, y equals negative x minus five, okay, in pink. And the question is, what is the slope? What is the slope of that pink line? Well, that slope is right in front there, and it's negative one. So the slope is negative one. Now, thinking to yourself, so if this is my pink line, okay, negative one, I want one to be parallel to that, so I want to use the same slope, and that means in order to be parallel, I'm also going to use negative one, okay? Once you decide that, then you're going to plug into point slope form, okay? Um, point slope form, so we still have our x1 and our y1. There's our point. So we're going to have y minus negative three is equal to the slope we decided, negative one, and then x minus two, okay? Um, from there, we just do the same old process, negative x plus two, um, equals y plus three, then we subtract three, subtract three, and we have y is equal to negative x minus one. So that line and the pink line are parallel, they never touch one another, and it goes through the point that we want it to, okay? Um, number eight here, gonna mix it up a little bit, okay, because it's another easy slope. Let's make it y is equal to, let's make it, one, uh, one over five, one fifth. How about that there? Okay, so the first part is decide, I want it to be parallel, okay? Well, if the original slope is dark blue here, that's one fifth. I wanna make it parallel that just means my new slope, I'll we'll use red, is also going to need to be one fifth. So we decided that. What's next? Point slope form. Um, so y minus negative three is equal to one fifth x minus five, okay? Um, distribute, distribute. So one fifth x, one fifth times negative five is minus one. And then I have y plus three, and I'll subtract three, subtract three, and then y is equal to one fifth x minus four, okay? They are parallel, if you were to graph them, they would never ever touch one another. So those two examples there. The only other type we're going to look at is now perpendicular. Now perpendicular means that they intersect at a right angle, okay? Um, so whatever the original line is, they intersect. 
And instead of the same slope, they have opposite and reciprocal slopes. Opposite, reciprocal. Make sure you have that written down. Okay. Um, again, I'm going to change up the slope here. Instead of y equals x minus 2, let's make it y is equal to negative 1 half x, okay, minus 2. So make sure you write it there. So similar to parallel, first we need to decide what is a perpendicular slope. So I'm looking here at the negative 1 half. That's what we start at. And so if this is negative 1 half, I want the slope that will be going in this direction. So I want it to be opposite and reciprocal. So if my original slope is negative 1 half, the perpendicular is going to be positive and the reciprocal just switches our numerator and denominator so 2 over 1. So that is the slope we want to use. Opposite and reciprocal. Therefore, we are now going to use point slope. So y minus negative 4 is equal to 2 over 1, or just 2, x minus negative 1. Where'd you get all that from, Mr. Dvorsky? Remember, x1, y1. It's just point slope. Um, so this is really 2 times x plus 1, or 2x plus 2, and that's y plus 4. Subtract 4, subtract 4. The equation is y equals 2x minus 2. Boom, 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 boom. All righty. So the last example... Again, let's change it up some here. That's too easy. Um, y is equal to, let's do uh, 3, uh, da, da, yeah, 3 fourths. Actually, let's do 4 thirds. How about that? Ha! Make sure you have all these examples down. Y equals 4 thirds, x, um, we'll say minus 3. Okay, that's the equation I'm starting out with. So part one, what slope would be perpendicular? So the original is 4 thirds. I want perpendicular. So what do we do? We make it opposite. So if this is positive, the next one's negative, and we slip, flip it. So 3 fourths. So that one is what I'll now use and point slope, y minus negative 5 is equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 4. Distribute negative 3 fourths x um, plus 3, 3 fourths times 4 is equal to y plus 5. And then I'll subtract 5, subtract 5. And y is equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 2. So great job. All right, make sure you got all that down. Let's do a little different. Let's do a, I want you to draw a pirate skull. Halloween's coming up. So that's how I know that you watched till the very end. Happy pirate. There you go. All right, guys, try out the checkpoint. Good stuff.